Hi guys, it's Ariana. Welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, we are going to be playing with this triple barrel deep waver. If you are interested to see how I got this hairstyle and how I struggled to get this hairstyle, because as you guys know from all of my other videos, I suck at doing my hair. I am the least patient person ever and it was fun. <laughs> Not really. But if you guys are interested to see how I got this kind of wavy beach style hairstyle using this item I got off of Amazon, then just keep watching. Hi guys, it's Ariana. Welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, I'm going to be testing out a item that I purchased off of Amazon. So I ordered this. It is called the Blue Top Professional Curling Iron and Salon Grade Tool. So it's a triple barrel um, curling iron. So it looks like this and I'm really, really excited to see if it works and play with it and use it because I really like triple barrel um, style curls. I really like crimped hair. I really like all of that stuff. I think it's really fun. And, oh my God, excuse me. It's coming back into style. So I really want to, um, I really wanted to order one and play with it. So it has a digital thermometer right here that tells you um, how hot it is. Right now it's off, obviously that's why I'm touching it. But when you click it on, it shows here and then it heats up very quickly. It's going up every second. It's like more than a second it's going up and heating. And I believe it goes up to, let's see. Um, so it says it goes to 230 degrees and um, obviously you're going to want to use a hair spray for your hair because you don't want to damage your hair. Right now it started at um, room temperature and it's heating up to 230 degrees. I think that's Fahrenheit, whatever, Celsius, Celsius, Fahrenheit, um, one of the two. Celsius. <laughs> so 230 Celsius is what it's heating up to right now. So I'm excited to see if it works. My hair is kind of a mess. It's not, it's not that bad today, but we're going to tame it for a second. So my hair is in an awkward stage of color. It's not exactly ginger anymore, but it's not not ginger? I don't know. It's, it looks a lot darker on camera than it is in person. In person it looks really kind of yellowy orange and it's really interesting. So I'm waiting for the overtone uh, dye to fully come out of my hair and then I'm going to do it a different color because right now it just looks kind of goofy and my eyebrows don't exactly match my hair anymore but oh well. It is what it is. So it is at 180 Celsius right now which I believe is... Let's see if we can make it go a lot more. Ooh, we can. Let's bring it all the way up to, maybe I don't want it up all the way, let's see. It is hot. <laughs> I think I'm gonna bring it to 200 Celsius and we're just going to leave it there and see how well it works. Usually with um, hair tools, especially like my cheek, because it doesn't have a um, actual thermometer to show you on it. It doesn't actually tell you how hot it gets. You're just supposed to know from the packaging. Um, you can't actually set it. So I'm used to having my hair tools at the highest that it can possibly be for temperature. And I know that's really not good for your hair. So we're going to set it to 200 and hopefully that is good enough. So I'm going to use the, um, like my heat stuff on my hair. So this is the Atmo Shield Hair Protection protector spray so it looks like this and it is from the brand Orlando Pita Play and I'm just going to spray this all over my hair. I really don't like the sprayer that comes with this bottle. I prefer more of a fine mist and that's really chunky and I'm just not a big fan of it. So I'm going to rub that into my hair. I'm also going to spray on my Don't Just Spare Repair Strength Moisture Leave-In Mask all over my hair. So this is from the brand Baraggio. And I'm just going to, that's the spray that I prefer. I'm just going to spray that all over my hair. This is just the stuff that I like to use before I use heat products on my hair. So now I am terrible at hair. So um, if you're looking for a hair tutorial, this is not it. I suck at doing my hair. I never do my hair, which is why I wear wigs. You guys know this. If you're new to my channel, I wear wigs because I don't like doing my hair. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to 
love out these creases. Holy shit, Jeffree Star's concealer creases so badly on me. It's terrible. Oh my god. I like using it as a base, but as for an actual under eye concealer, absolutely not. It creases horribly. Ugh. Great. So, I am going to section my hair off and hopefully this thing works. This is one of the main reasons that I never do my hair is I get really, really, really frustrated with my hair very quickly and I usually give up because I just don't like doing hair. But we are going to try out this tool and see if it works. So I'm just pulling out smaller sections of about that much hair and then I'm gonna go in using this thing. It's huge, it's really interesting. So I'm just going to I don't really know how it works. <laughs> I'm just trying to remember the last time I used it, which was forever ago. Hope it works. It looks like it's kind of doing something. I may have to bring the temperature up though. Or the type of wave that I want. It seems to have it crimped it, but it's definitely not like as amazing as I was expecting. I was expecting it to be like really, really crimped and really, really curly. So I think I'm gonna bring the temperature up all the way. So I'm gonna bring it up to 230 and we shall see what it does. So it's just heating up now because I'm really looking for like beachy wavy curls, like really intense ones, not just like a little bit of a crimp. I'm wanting like an actual full blown style curled hair <laughs> probably not even making sense all right so it heats up really fast so now it's at 230 so we can try again so it did crimp it it's just not like overly crimped I was expecting more but I'm gonna do the entire section and we shall see what it looks like once it's done But it is crimping it, it's just like very subtle. It's not like what I was expecting. I was expecting it to be really, really curly and really crimped. Cause I remember using triple barrels when I was in high school and the one that we had in our cosmetology class made your hair crimped. It was really cool. So, but that one probably costs a lot more money. This one was only $40, so I will list the actual retail price on the screen below, but it was very inexpensive. I believe it was in like $40, 40 Canadian, so it's fairly cheap. Um, I know a lot of these retail at like Sephora for like $130, so that's why I wanted to try a cheaper one to see if I liked the style of the curls on my hair before I actually splurged on like a really, really expensive one, and I was hoping that um, getting one like this, a $30 one, was going to work just as well as the more expensive ones, so I wouldn't have to spend that much money on another one. But that's what it looks like so far. So it is crimping it and curling it, kind of, but like nothing as I, like I was expecting. I was expecting it to be way more intense. This is just kind of like kind of crimped, kind of curly. Let's try this side. That one turned out really cool. That one's really wavy. Maybe the more I do it, the better I'll get at making the curls not suck. I am struggling. Trying to do it in reverse is hard. <laughs> hey, what the fuck? It's really hard to do backwards. Like in a mirror. It looks easier than it actually is to do. I may just be dumb. <laughs> oh, it turned off on me. That's probably why it's not crimping the hair anymore. Oh my god. What a joke. I don't know how that turned off. So 
some of these got like really wavy and some of them um, kind of are flat, falling flat for me. Um, I was expecting it to be a lot more curly and a lot more wavy, so I'm not really liking some of the crimped curls or whatever that I'm ending up with. But I'm going to continue to do it and hopefully we end up with a better result. So it is starting to get like really curly and really fun and really wavy and I am starting to like it a little bit more the more that I do it. Um, I did find that doing it the first couple times was really awkward and really hard, so keep that in mind. It looks, it looks a lot easier than it actually is to do it. Okay, so now that that's that section done, now I can move on to doing the top section. So it looks really cool. Um, it is starting to get really crimped. Some pieces I'm going to have to redo just because getting the hang of it um, in the beginning was a little bit frustrating, especially with switching sides. It does get a little bit frustrating, so keep that in mind. It is not the easiest hair tool that I've ever used, but it looks really easy, but it's really not. Um, it's kind of awkward, but so far it's making the my hair look really pretty and really cool. So I'm gonna continue doing the last section of my hair. So that's the top section done, so now it looks really cool. Um, I just need to fix a couple pieces on the bottom section and do this side, and then I'll be back to talk about how I'm feeling about this hair. Okay, so this is what it looks like once you are done using the triple barrel on your hair. So I, my first impressions of it is it is very awkward to use. Um, it's really big, it's huge, like this is a very big iron. Um, it's very awkward to use. I burnt my neck a couple times just because of how close you have to get to get like the actual top of your head and work your way through it. It's just a very, very big iron. Um, I would, I like that, that it's a triple barrel, but I would prefer if it was a little bit smaller just so that you could actually get into certain sections of your hair without risking burning yourself. I also recommend getting a glove um, to use alongside this as this iron doesn't have one. and playing with your hair and getting so close to the iron itself, you probably will burn yourself if you are clumsy like I am. Um, the other things that I want to speak on on this iron, it is very inexpensive, so I'm very, very grateful that it's not like $200 or $150. It was only $40, so I like the price point. I think it worked pretty good for the price point. Um, it's not exactly as curly as I was hoping it was going to be. I was kind of going for like the classic triple barrel style like when I was um, in high school. We had these irons that were just like, they worked so well and your hair was insanely triple barreled like curled. This gave me more of like beach wave vibes, which is fine. This is kind of um, similar to what I saw online for a lot of reviews on it. They didn't say that it was supposed to be super curly. That was just kind of what I was expecting, just kind of got my hopes up. Um, I think the iron is really cute. I like the color. I think the pink is really adorable. I love the fact that it comes with a temperature gauge and it lets you set your temperature for whatever you want. I highly recommend using a heat protector though if you are going to use it at the full um, temperature like I did. I did it this hairstyle at the 230 Celsius and that is really, really harsh on your hair, but I found that that's how I got um, the best curl was using it at the highest temperature. That was just me. You guys saw that um, I was struggling a little bit at the beginning with getting it like positioned and actually like working it. So there is a little bit of a learning curve to it, but the iron itself is fairly simple to use once you get the hang of it. It's just kind of like awkward to handle because it is so large. But as for the price point, I think it's a really good iron. Um, I. Love the fact that it came in like two days. I got it on Amazon. I ordered it on, I think it was Thursday, and I just got it today. Oh my god, my burden is starting to come in. Ah, it hurts. Um, I really like the price point. I love the fact that you could get it on Amazon, and I was looking at other ones um, 
uh, I think I was looking at the Amica one, and the Amica one was like $120. So I didn't want to drop that kind of money on an iron, especially this close to Christmas. So that's why I went for more of a, a more approachable, more less expensive iron, which was only $40, which I am perfectly fine with paying. I think this iron is really great. I uh, will definitely use it again. I want to get the hang of it a little bit more so that I can make this hairstyle a little bit better just because right now the ends are uh, kind of straight and like wonky and not exactly um, the same as the rest of the hair. It is kind of a curly wavy hairstyle though, so the ends don't look too terrible. Like it's not horrible, but it would be more ideal if they were a little bit more wavy. Um, I wish the iron was a little bit smaller, like I said, so that I could get the top section just a little bit more. But as for the size and the iron itself, I definitely think it's worth purchasing if you are looking for a triple barrel style iron like this. They're definitely um, worth it. I think they're called deep wavers on Amazon or triple barrel. It, I think depending on... Um, like who you're talking to. I remember in high school these being called triple barrels, but I guess now maybe they're called deep wavers. I'm not too sure. But it comes with the instructions, came with the box. It definitely was very, very inexpensive and it worked fairly well, especially for being a cheaper ranged iron. I will definitely be using it again. But that was my little demo on um, <laughs> this little hair tool. As you guys can tell uh, from my video, I am really, really, really bad at doing my hair. So what do you want? Oh way. I'm really bad at doing my hair, so this was a struggle and a half for me just because I have zero patience for anything and I just kind of suck at doing hair. But thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you guys did enjoy this video, please make sure to give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button down below for more content like this, and I will see you guys at the next video. Bye!